Western Union is in about 200 countries and territories globally, 150 million uh, customers today. So very big, very global. Standardization is very key. Um, doing things the right way, um, the secure way. This is where we really want to use tools, technologies like M0 to really accelerate the delivery, not just on the DevOps space for, for code delivery and SDLC, but you've got to take that all the way back down to infrastructure as code. So you need to be able to deploy infrastructure as code at speed in a GitOps model, but you have to still support all these other teams, like security and to be able to integrate policy. you got to be able to integrate FinOps and budgets. So you need that tool that really can handle the end-to-end -end roadmap of infrastructure, as I call software delivery. And it's got to be mature, it's got to be robust, and it's got to have all the features and functionality that we need. We looked at a lot of tools. We looked at Morpheus, we looked at TFE, we looked at a lot of cloud native tools like Azure DevOps, and really they didn't have all those capabilities that I mentioned to be able to integrate with Git, to be able to integrate with ServiceNow, to be able to integrate with a FinOps tool, to be able to integrate with OPA, a policy agent, and do that end to end. It's not just infrastructure teams that should be using this. I mean, really the essence of DevOps is you build it, you own it. So that's all the way down from infrastructure. And M0, by far, is the easiest tool for developers to come in and not have to, this big learning curve of having to understand infrastructure or understanding Careform, because you're really abstracting that with the tool. One of the biggest challenges before we had M0 was trying to manage day two changes, modifications to infrastructure, when costs are gonna go up, right? Say we didn't have DR, we wanted to add that. So now a developer can come in, make a day two change, modify some new infrastructure. We can have a soft budget sitting in a FinOps tool. M0 actually goes out to the API of that FinOps tool, reaches out and we'll check if there's still approved budget for that application from a costing standpoint before it'll deploy that infrastructure. It's really the best of both worlds. And I will give kudos to your support teams because you guys kind of came in and really, you know, taught us how to, how to run, how to fish, if you will. I would say in my roadmap, uh, looking in 2024, we're gonna be looking to branch this out more into on-prem, uh, to our data centers, to our F5s, to other capabilities on-prem, where they're not taking the value of automation and making it easy. So if we can do this with consistency, we're really gonna start accelerating really both sides, which is cloud and still on-prem infrastructure. Then that'll also allow us to start moving into more things like private cloud, hyper-converged infrastructure, which is all exposing APIs uh, that can be called from M0.